and lovely friends, welcome back to another episode of Whispering Wikipedia. <laughs> and today we are going to be reading about the Great Pyrenees, the Great Pyrenean Mountain Dog. Now, I don't even know if I'm saying the name correctly because I've never heard about this dog before. I just had a very kind viewer suggest to me to read this and I thought it would be extremely interesting to whisper about something I don't know about. Of course I love learning and I love helping encourage people to learn especially through relaxing modes of listening. Now the Pyrenean mountain dog also known as the Great Pyrenees I should read about, please put it in the comments below. I read and try to respond to every comment that I can. It may take me a day or a few days, but I go into YouTube Creator Studio and try to systematically go through each one. If I haven't responded, it's likely because of a glitch in the system, so feel free to comment again if I don't get back to you. Now, without any further ado, please remember that I can't pronounce scientific terminology, and let's begin this latest whispering Wikipedia. The Pyrenean, a mountain dog known as the Great Pyrenees in North America, is a large breed of dog used as a livestock guardian dog. It should not be confused with the Pyrenean Mastiff. It's very cute looking. Um, it's rather cute and if you want to see it, of course, feel free to Google um, the dog for more examples. As, as late as 1874, the breed was not completely standardized in appearance with two major subtypes recorded the western and the eastern they are related to several other large white european livestock guardian dogs lgd including the marima sheepdog in italy the guvats in hungary the akpash in turkey and the polish tatra sheepdog or poliski oldzagrak Halansky, and somewhat less closely to the Newfoundland and St. Bernard. According to the Great Pyrenees Club of America, the Pyrenean mountain dog is naturally nocturnal and aggressive, with any predators that may harm its flock. Get out of my flock, yo! However, the breed can typically be trusted with small, young, and helpless animals of any kind due to its natural guardian instinct. That's so sweet. The Pyrenean mountain dog breed experienced a dramatic fall-off in the numbers of the USAKC breed registrations from 2000 to 2010. Breed was ranked at number 45 in 2000, but by 2010 had dropped to number 71. In 2013, the breed was ranked at number 69. Other large breeds in the same working classification, the Newfoundland and the St. Bernard, have fared far better in maintaining their breed rankings, being ranked number 44 and number 45, respectively, in 2010. Now on to their description. Males can grow from 50 to 59 kilograms, which is 110, to 130 pounds, and 69 to 81 centimeters, which is 27 to 32 inches. While females reach 41 to 52 
shed 
some examples of the great Pyrenees within the popular culture. Belly from Cecil Aubrey's novel Belle et sa Passion, adapted several times for film and television, is a great Pyrenees. The 2004 film Finding Neverland used a great Pyrenees to represent J. M. Barry's Lancia Newfoundland's dog. In the television series King and Queens, a great Pyrenees is a recurring customer of Holly the Dog Walk. In the 1965 film Those Magnificent Men and Their Flying Machines, a great Pyrenees is the household dog at the Lord Roundsley Estate. In the Marx Brothers, Horse Feathers, a great Pyrenees appears in the Dog Catcher's Wagon. In the Korean variety show Happy Sunday, One Night, Two Days, Sang Yun, a great Pyrenees, is the mascot of the show and recently appointed as Nation's Pet. A popular Korean singer, Hero Jae-yong, from TVXQ, owns a great Pyrenees named Vic. In 2009 film Santa Buddies, a male great Pyrenees puppy named Puppy Paws, voiced by Zachary Gordon, is the protagonist and the son of Santa Claus's dog Santa Paws. Voiced by Tom Bosley, a full-grown male great Pyrenees. I would like to see what that movie got on Rotten Tomatoes. Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees owned a great Pyrenees named Barnaby, who was in their television movie Cucumber Castle and the video for their song Lonely Days. In the Jim Carrey film Dumb and Dumber, a great Pyrenees appears in the Dogmobile. Webcomic artist Jeff Jacquees owns a great Pyrenees named Shelby, who has appeared in his webcomic Questionable Content on occasion. He appears almost exactly as the same as Mr. Takechi of the anime fame, see below, in Hanazakari no Kimachi e, the male lead, had a great Pyrenees named Yu Chi Lan for a pet. Many Japanese manga and anime series have dogs that are either this breed or based on its appearance. Alexander from Full Metal Alchemist is a large Great Pyrenees who is the pet of Shoutoka Alexander. Is later combined with Shoutoka's daughter Nina to form a chimera. Tadaki san, Mr. Tadakshi's in the English version owned by Kyo Mayama in Azumanga Dayo. Akumaru from Naruto is Kiba Inuzuka's pet Great Pyrenees. Cherry, owned by Minami Iwasaki in Lucky Star. Baron from Knowing to Your Other Self is Haruka Kaminogi's Great Pyrenees. Peace, a dog belonging to one of Ashirogi Muto's assistants appears in Bakuman. The Japanese series Ginga Densetu Weed features a great Pyrenees named Hiro, who is nicknamed the Castrator due to his signature attack of neutering his opponents. In the book Between Mom and Joe by Julie Annie Peters, the family takes in a stray great Pyrenees. In the book Futures and Frosting by Tara Sivek Carter's parents' mum buys him Claire and Gavin, a great Pyrenees puppy. Claire exaggeratingly describes it as a 900 pound, 410 kilogram animal, almost the same size as Gavin and it looks like a polar bear. The logo of the Sea Dog Brewing Company represents the founder's late great Pyrenees. During the live simulcast of the Stephanie Miller Show, a radio show on Free Speech TV, Stephanie's two great Pyrenees, Max and Fred, are often seen on camera and are the subject of discussion. In 2014, a great Pyrenees known as Duke the Dog became mayor of a small Minnesota town. Cormorant. What the heck? That's an extremely weird fact. 
to win that whispering Wikipedia on. I think I have to look that up because I'm not exactly sure how a dog can become a mayor of a town. Interesting. Well, that was a super interesting Wikipedia about a very cute and loyal and sweet seeming dog. And I really hope that I get to meet one in real life one day. I think that that would be a lovely moment. Also, it was super interesting to see the um, influence that the Great Berenice has had on Japanese culture and in anime and everything. That was super interesting. So, if you found that interesting or if you found anything else interesting, please tell me. Um, because, of course, I am in love with learning and I hope you are too. Or at least in love with getting some time to have a break and a pause and a rest. And thank you for spending this time with me. <laughs>